Today, I have my good friend Pedro, who's joining me from Vancouver. Kind of reminds me of um, Puer a little bit. Like there's like a sort of a, there's a sort of muskiness to it. It's kind of interesting. There is some kind of muskiness. Might, might, might have to do with the aging of the, of the cake itself. I don't, I don't know how old the cake was before they milled it. Right. So why don't we do 10 grams here? Okay. And we then, can do some in, uh, in the professional yeah. 21st century mill. Okay. Courtesy of our good friends from Terada. Yes. And we yes. can, uh, we and can then, do some in uh, Ito-san's old school. Ito-san old school. I'm into it. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's really interesting. So the, 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 the sort of song, song-ish inspiration, I've always wanted to try. To song inspired. Let's call it song inspired. Song inspired. Song inspired. So that's an interesting way to try it. It's just, so that was. That was ground through mortar and pestle, and then put through a Japanese mortar mill. and pestle. Well, it was actually a Chinese mill, but oh, but 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 mill. okay, pretty much like the, 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 the same as this. So so I guess somebody in Asia has been using these mills for for a few hundred years. It's been a while, right, right, right. It's it's, it's, it's been a while, and, and some use it for soybean, but other clever people were using it for for tea. No, the this one was milled uh, in a in a Chinese Chinese made uh, stone mill that. Uh, Elon conveniently had around. So let's show people what the tencha looks like too. So maybe um, I'll pour a little bit onto onto this plate, so people can see what you're putting into the into the meal. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what that looks show like. That guy. That's, that's the tencha that's been de-veined and de-stemmed, shade grown. You want to talk a little bit about Hosoi san and what's going on with with Mr. Hosoi? Yeah, he's a gentleman out of. Um, out of Wazuka, okay. who was introduced by a good friend, Haruka Hori, who studied at UBC for a while. Okay. And uh, she highly recommended Hosoi San, who's a third generation grower. It's got this beautiful piece of land, like I said, in, in Wazuka. And we had the honor of um, finally visiting him in, um, in August last year. And, and not everybody knows this, but, uh, but Wazuka is one of the biggest producers of uji, uji cha in the country. So. When people say Uji Cha, they think Uji City because there is actually an, an Uji, Uji City, City that produces tea, but it doesn't produce a lot of tea. Most of the tea in Kyoto that's sold as Uji Cha, because anything produced in Kyoto Prefecture is called Uji Cha, um, is uh, produced in either Wazuka or Uji Tawara. Those are the two big brands. So, if you ask some people in in, in Uji City, they would say that uh, Wazuka is a younger tea production region because right. it only has a history of what like. 250 to 300 years which is Almost short two. for for uji standards but you know it's it's it, but it's more it's more um it's older than canada yeah and it's and it's considered a, a better topography for growing tea and that's why you can produce more and also i think there's just less uh, it's more countryside more rural but everybody talks about the way that the rivers meet and the mist comes up at the right time. And there's this whole like romantic story, but there's a romantic story. I think the reason why there's a, a, a region in the country like Uji um, is because Kyoto used to be the, the capital. And I think why does Shizuoka produce the most tea in the country? It's because Tokyo's nearby. So it's more, I think, of a proximity there's to that. a major metropolitan area plus an ideal growing environment, but it, it, one can't exist without the other. Well, the, the, the environment in Wazuka is much more much more difficult for use of uh, of heavy machinery yeah because it's very hilly right whereas in, in some places in Kagoshima or Shizuoka it's it's much easier to bring in a larger track oh, for sure so and I think that's why things are moving in the direction where you see way more tea produced in these flatter areas absolutely because it's 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 easier to use machines yeah. Shizuoka as well right like it's just flatter so the the I think that that the, it also has to do with the way that freight, it's easier for things to move around now. Um, I think that makes a huge difference for whether or not we're, we're going to see, um, um, you know, tea production area do well. I, I think that, the, the, that you can produce tea in a lot more areas in Japan than people are producing. It's true. And, but that it ends up getting limited to a, a, an area where it's decent, decent uh, for, you know, what it can produce, but it's also able to get on a get on a truck you know <laughs> well there, there, there's that and there's also you know the number of people who want to live in the countryside and make tea which it's less and less isn't it it's uh we have fewer people devoting their lives to it oh it's coming out it's coming out yeah okay let's uh maybe get in there a little bit more 
You see that? I wish you guys could smell it because. Oh, yeah. It smells beautiful. It does smell beautiful. I'm always fascinated by this process that this used to all be done by hand, you know, like exactly the way you're doing it. And then, you know, you visit these facilities now where everything's more automated. They're still the major. I would say that I would hazard that the majority of at least the specialty matcha being produced out of the country. Is a milled. good amount is milling stones. Now they are bigger stones. Sure. And they are mechanized in, in, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't know a single person who's selling commercially. Yeah, matcha hand that's milled. been milled like by hand. No, I don't know anybody either. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's also like the the even the commercial mills to control friction, they put them into um, air conditioned or like a Fujioko san, for example, has three large mills in refrigeration. They that's true. Like air and humidity condition because yeah. you also don't want too much moisture. Then you have to wear <laughs> spacesuits when you enter into. He doesn't wear a spacesuit. He probably, you know, we share. Uh, 40 grams an hour though right even on the commercial units and so we were looking for a really long time to get something like this we wanted to mill our own matcha we thought it'd be the coolest thing but i am probably going hour, faster than um than what i should you know for the for the sake of actually drinking something today so right i might be uh i might be doing this a little bit faster because it's, it's supposed to be one revolution per second one it's true. Now, here's the thing. You, you, the reason for doing one revolution per second is to not create heat. Yeah, and, you're not creating. Well, there's there's so much granite here, so we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, the the, the heat required to to raise the temperature of this mass of granite one degree Celsius would be way more than what we're producing here. And also the um, maybe, the, the maybe, tension happens maybe five to, kilos in. Right, maybe after five kilos. Yeah, but apparently tension is also really good lubricant. So. Okay. I don't get that much friction. All right, sir. Okay. You have by any chance of a brush? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have a I have a brush. A little bit more. Let's do one last one. Let's let's just uh, do this because there's a there's a tiny portion of it that doesn't seem to be milled so easily. So let's okay. see. Where are we? Almost. 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 Okay. Because it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I should use a whole a whole gram. For my test, hey, like considering how labor how precious it is. Well, yeah. you know what? We did. Uh... Should I try a bit? Yeah, try a bit. Let's 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 see what happens. Why don't you try a little bit of this guy? Okay. And we can collect. Uh... Well, let's see how much we got. Let's see how much we got. So uh, we'll do it into. One of our I don't even know how much I threw in because I, I I definitely didn't use your your ten grams. You should smell this. It does smell good. Yeah. This is uh. What do you think? Like this? I'm, I'm into it. Okay, let's see how much. If we right. at least have three grams, we're we're off to the races. No, we we, we don't have we don't have three grams because you know what? Why do you measure this and I'll I'll mail some more? Okay. Where if are I, we? If I have one gram, I can do my test. I can actually do it with half a gram. Why don't you give me half a gram? I'll, I'll give you a gram. You want to do it full on? Okay. All right, we'll do full on. I let's feel like do it's it. such a such a labor intensive. It is a very labor intensive. Test, right. Uh, so we have Hosoi san out of Wazuka. Yeah, Hosoi san Introduced of Wazuka. By that lady uh, who was, she was on the tea festival, right? Like she was, uh, uh, she's involved in the Wazuka tea festival. Yeah, Haruka Hori is involved in the Wazuka tea festival. Yeah. Okay. She's cool. She's a, she's a great girl. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some, some tea. What can I do with scale? She is one of the organizers of the Wazuka tea festival. You know what I did with the scale? Oh, there it is. Ready here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, again, five grams, boiling water, into, the, hmm. We're gonna take it, like, already, it just already looks like, a more, um, I don't know. It looks way finer. Yeah. So I'm gonna put that one gram. I think a lot of a lot. Of, it's yeah, it's nice. certainly a function of whoever did the the tencha shiage. Yeah. They did a decent job. Yeah. And for those watching, of course, shiage tencha is when the tencha is ready to mill. So when it's ready, right out of the production factory, it's called ara tencha, and it's still quite long. 
and it's not ready to mill, but it's the best for storage. I'm going to drop a, a similar amount of this well mixed uh, material, one gram again. Yeah, no. And then I'm going to do the same test I just did. And you can see a greater concentration of matcha in there. Hey, you see that? Still not super fine. It's still not 21st century. It's still it's which is to be expected, right? Which is to be expected. We were we were expecting um, higher concentration of larger particles. Exactly. Because we're using a smaller stone mill. That's right. Than what is common in 21st century or even mid 20th century matcha production facilities. Right. Our next test is going to be to get our matcha into the 21st century. Uh, yeah, well, the one thing that we cannot communicate is how delicious this smells. It smells amazing. And I I'm think actually really excited to, to taste it. The deliciousness of the smell is not a function of the size of the particles. It does smell great. I'm thinking two grams. You, 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 so you're, you're, you're thinking usucha? Yeah, All right. I'm thinking usucha. Is that cool? I, I think we can start with usucha, but if, you, if, you feel, if you're feeling braver, we can... Uh, you we can we try should, both. We should, do you want to do koicha? I mean, somebody in the middle of the 20th century was yeah. having koicha having with this koicha? stuff. No, I, let, let's start with usucha because okay, okay. because it's, can kind it, of go straight across because it, what you were making you just now was very usucha like. It's true. It's true. Let's let, it let, might be a, a more I don't know. Let's let's start there. Let's 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 go chicken first and okay. Let's go chicken first. Sweeping. Sweep sweep sweep. Maybe uh. Collect some of this guy too. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna use your chashaku. We can use it's your chashaku. Is it mine? Oh, I, I stole it from uh, Okay. It's my bent from the chashaku section. This is what the chashaku I use for showing people how not what to do to avoid it turning out like turning this. out like this? Nice. Yeah. It's actually quite Let me, uh, quite problematic. Turn off this guy. Okay. Are you yeah. weighing? Yeah, of course you are. I am weighing. Okay, so I, I, should I not? No, no, no. Go, okay. go for it, man. <laughs> just realized that. Yeah, took no, over. it's it's good, it's good, it's good. Just took over. That, that that's fine, fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Okay. And then I I often do. Um, so you can see it's you do interesting. what two grams and ninety grams of water, right? I'm about to, yeah. Yeah. So some of it is there, yes. Okay. And then we're gonna do like a uh, ninety grams. All right. And you're doing what, 70 Celsius? 65. All right. So I often do 60 for Wazuka. But uh, I'm taking some risks here, Pedro. Taking it's all some about risks. the risks, man. Taking some risks. OK. 88-ish in the, in the sort of the ish sort of style 80? of the day. OK. 90 actually 90, 90 90 grams okay yeah yeah okay considering the particles are are a bit larger the froth is decent you know i found that when they're like within reason it's actually like you can get the the teraga to mill so fine that it's just it tastes like gum have you ever done gotten it that far <sighs> yes it's like almost like elastic bands like i'm not sure i like it but yes it's 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 yeah it's yeah it's rough you can okay but this one looks reasonable. So I'm gonna let's see what our Japanese resident expert believes. Okay. Let's, let's uh let's see. I think that's you. Yeah. It okay. is. There you are. There you are. Thank you, thank you. There you are. Hi, Kosano. Okay, cheers. Mm. It's actually quite creamy. And zero astringency. That's a lot nicer than I expected. Thank you. Yeah. For the confidence. <laughs> Dude. I'm sorry. I mean, Dude. Nicer than I expected. Nicer than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's making oh, this to suck know, completely, <laughs> but uh, it turned out actually drinkable. Dude. That's uh, really nice. Yeah. I'm going to hang out at there... Starbucks next time I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Never coming back. Never coming back. No, it's actually. I, I, it's it's actually 
it's it's very silky. You know, one one of the things that I find about um, Soy Sans uh, Tencha yeah. is uh, it's extremely silky. It's it, it's almost reminiscent of um, of of uh, Fukuoka in in terms of uh, of texture. Interesting. More okay. more than what I usually find in in uh, Wesco. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 really enjoying it. Yeah, it has a nice texture. Um, good finish. I think it's it's definitely noticeably coarser. It is noticeably coarser. You can you can feel it. But it's not but the like... cream was not crap. No, it wasn't. Okay, so I'm gonna put some tencha on the plates. You can see that the tencha, oh, sorry, the mill here has um, been cut to mimic the, the plates that we were just milling on that were were carved Indeed. out of granite. So this is the the pattern is very similar. Very similar. And in fact, you know, the size of the grooves is also quite similar. Right. And then there's this magnet we put inside to catch any sort of metal that can be in the yes the, magnet the, the tea during um, production. And then we tighten it best we can. We have it running. From, I don't know if you, can, if you want to show them these, these hoses. These hoses are water running through and out of the plate. So it's actually running water into cool so that you can increase the capacity of that it can fill in an hour. And so that's the exit line. Um, and then these are the, uh, the entrance lines. And or entrance is the black and exit is this clear one. And then we've tightened it down pretty good. Um, we're going to put uh, more tensha in the top. like that and then i'll actually put in a little bit more than that and then we will use the bowl Ready? no fuse we're good we're good all right and now we can see i'll actually remove this cover But you can see it coming through, and and this is us trying to get a, a nice texture. One gram of tea, and One we're gonna do it tea. through the sieve into five grams of water that I already prepared. Okay, and then I'm gonna. Right, sweet. And I always use the 0 0.01 gram scale for this this process because if you don't, it gets really um, you you really see some just a variation of, of 0.25 has a huge effect on the consistency. Of course. And then yeah, and then I mean I'm talking to an engineer. What am I saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it does have a significant effect. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So we're gonna mix that in really well, and apparently painters use this a lot. To see the the texture of the paint that they're working mm -hmm. with before they commit it to canvas, and so it's it's a way to just make sure that you're getting the texture that you want. Of course. So it's it's super super helpful, right, from that perspective. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'm just gonna put. That looks like beautiful. Doesn't it look good? Toothpaste. Yeah, it does. <laughs> beautiful toothpaste. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna measure this using the grind gauge. Let's see. Look at that. That's that's. That's that is that's that. yeah yeah I'm not, I'm not seeing the streaks this time no nope. you no nope. no no that's that's it's much more consistent I'm starting to see them down here that's very 21st century 21st century 21st century grind gauge so we've gone through when is Stone the Song dynasty? dynasty that's like year me for it do we know this Mark 1500s okay, thank you thank you uh, so Song Song Dynasty 1500s um, uh, matcha sort of inspired matcha we did that was our first trial. And our second one was kind of Meiji era inspired, which is like late nineteenth, late 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 eighteen uh, hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Yeah. And then now we've jumped ahead to to two thousand and twenty three with a, a a mill that's chilled using a, a brewing chiller, um, and then it's uh, it's now time to taste it. So let's do let's, that. Let's taste. <laughs> 
for those who don't know, um, Pedro and I, um, well, you, Pedro and I, we, we purchased a, a mill each together at the same time and shared the, the shipping costs to bring them over. And then, uh, then we navigated the, the legal use the, of mills in Canada. Legal, yeah. How to, you know, plug in legally in Canada. And so, um, working with the CSA approvals and all that stuff, it was quite, quite a process. Um, but now we've done it and now we can we can mill some some really nice Wait. fresh matcha but okay so i'm gonna do the same 65 degree be... centigrade water i'm gonna i chose um actually a matcha jawan from a lady up island who likes to put some effort into making some beautiful jawan. jawan yeah quite thin for jawan but it does the job it's gotten nice okay and then i'm going to whisk and yeah it's, it's interesting the sensation i almost wish that you could have done each one because you did the song dynasty the song one. dynasty yeah and then like it's a very different sensation well i'll, I'll, I'll do another one once uh okay once we finish the video okay i'm into this oh yeah that looks again you know what, what do you like not, not even 15 seconds yeah well ish was i i was going for 15 seconds but maybe i uh i think potentially broke, about 15 seconds but broke my own guidelines i've been known to do it before okay all right so and again like we have this system where we do two grams 90 mils at between 60 and 70 degrees centigrade depending on the the, the region that we're milling you know just, just for the sake of science let's see sure. if we can make uh, the art in you, this guy <laughs> you want to see no okay. just, yeah, just... I'm gonna do it. Wanna go... <laughs> so did you see this you give want... me give me some uh Water. You, want, you want to do it back in here or no no just, yeah. just there just okay. just just just, just let's, okay. let's see need, if it, you need some water i need okay. some hot water please hot water hot just, water coming up just in the name of science okay we're doing and it never tried you know yeah so thank you thank you yeah when uh let's see when when the song dynasty person was in teaching a class at uh well they weren't from the song dynasty but they're teaching a class on song dynasty um uh matcha preparations um you know you can you can see some she was making some artwork on the froth not not as much in this guy no no well you you can see so, yeah, so see, see, I can see a little you can see a streak on. yeah i think i think it's it's probably less visible because the contrast is not not as much you know it's light green versus versus white you know what's interesting here is that whenever we use boiling water on our matcha instead of this lower temperature it also pales the color yeah i i bet you it's just forcing a sort of a light oxidation what's well, cooking it yeah i i'm pretty sure it's cooking it all right okay let us drink all right so um let's drink where's my cups let's i see. took them to the you took them to the to the to the, the to the washing station okay lots of dishes today yours is over there right here yeah okay amazing okay so well Ladies first. Of course. And then Carpenters next. Carpenters next. All right. And then yeah. Thank you. All right, let's let's do this. Cheers. All right. I got this. I got this. Thank let's, you, thank you. Let's let's jar it. Okay. 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 Yeah, you got a lot more umami, hey? But it's it's it's, it's even silkier, and and there's there, there's nothing left, like at the end, right? Yeah. yeah, that's really interesting. But you don't get to smell things when you're milling it. Well, it's that's, it's you can you smell it. Yeah, you can smell it. Put your actually, nose close to that thing. You know, when we're when we're milling, I actually love the aromatics. That's true. Getting, that's true. Know? That's true. So it's just definitely you know, like, silky. It is super silky. Like there's a notice. Did you try the Meiji one? You did, right? You had a sip of it just now, of course, in that cup, right? Did you you notice a difference? Yeah, it's really noticeable, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we're getting general agreement in the room that this is this is definitely a different texture, no, a different experience, and it's the same raw material. It's the same tensha, tensha. but it's going through a granite mill, more traditional, old school, uh, and this is this. They're heavier, right? To get the you see the slabs that they use in commercial there mills are in Japan. The and slabs of commercial, yeah, they're they're twenty times this weight. Yeah, and they're at getting least. they're getting a much um, 
finer texture than we're getting off of this mill. Right? Yes, indeed. So, 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 so. So it's not like the size mill... of the particle is not a function only of the of the material that you're using to mill it. It's right. also a function of the pressure that you can generate with uh, with with a terada machine here, and and the pressure that you can generate with a much larger stone mill. Thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, Pedro. It's thanks for the a, invitation again. It's been a joy. We got a lot. We had I feel like we had a big party. Um, we got to taste some some Song Dynasty uh, uh, inspired matcha. We got to have some Meiji inspired matcha on a on a Japanese mill. Yeah. We had uh, the Terada, our our house mill here that's connected to brewing chillers. Um, get us a really nice texture. And I think I I would say that I I like them all for for different reasons. I think that I can see why. I think it's things cool. have developed the way they have. Right. Like I, I think that it's very. I like having no residuals. There's like a, it's really nice. Like I really found that super silky. I can see how that would work nicer in desserts and things, and 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 just in regular drinking. I, I just well, there's no it. leftover. There's absolutely no leftover. Now, I also enjoy this guy. That's I nice. actually do enjoy yeah. drinking I, tea from from this thing here. I was actually going into today. I assumed that I would like this Meiji inspired and song inspired stuff less like i would i would be interested from more like an academic perspective yeah. on like a sensory flavor level i would not be as like into it but i i like them both i think they were yeah. both very enjoyable experiences regardless of the scientific value of uh, totally like just from a flavor experience and that sort of enthusiast absolutely i'm gonna leave you also some talk about old school i'm, I'm gonna leave you some um some kancha from tokushima oh, amazing okay made by the last lady in japan who's still making kancha oh wow yeah, I read about uh, this. It's like the like the newest tea you can get in Japan, like in terms of the tea, earliest, like the earliest, tea. Right, earliest, the tea. earliest harvest, yeah. harvested in February. That's cool. Every year, that's so cool. so that that'll be for for some other yeah that's uh, discussion really some other day. But uh, I'll yeah. leave I'll leave some with you. And you might be joining me more regularly. We were talking about is this going to be yeah? Awesome we we yeah. we should do okay. this more. Okay. Often, we might you know? see Pedro a little bit as a regular guest who's joining us maybe once a month. There's there, there, there's this idea about creating a bit of a of a tea um tea exploration education yeah. center. Yeah, where where none of us is a professor like like Fion. Yeah, but uh, you know we we've been fiddling around with tea for for over over a decade. Thank you so much for watching. You can find O Five T stuff at O Five T dot com. Letter O number five T E A dot com. Amazing. Or Chagasil dot com. Yeah, we we can. Yeah, sometimes. Come yeah. drink here. Come drink there. Um, thank you for watching. We will see you uh, next week. Check us out at uh, jagasilk.com. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jared Nyberg. We're looking at some amazing conversations. Uh, last week we had the owner of Cultured Kombucha on. Uh, the week before that we had Ratio uh, and Vernon join us. And I encourage you to check out all 135 if you can.